all vegetable oils can increase the risk of heart disease, diabetes and cancer. But if you avoid all vegetable oils or fast from dairy products, you can reduce your risk of cancer and many other diseases. In this video, you'll learn why vegetable oils are bad for your health. And then you're going to find out how to cook without using oils. So let's begin. Vegetable oils come from whole foods. During the manufacturing process, the producers separate the oil from vegetables, nuts or seeds. So they do it in two ways. Either by heating up the produce and then squeezing out the oil, or by using a mechanical process. This process is a lot slower than heating up the crop and yield less oil. Refined vegetable oils start from the seeds of various plant sources. There are many different kinds of commercially refined vegetable based oils. These include canola or rapeseed oil, soybean oil, corn oil, sunflower oil, safflower oil, peanut oil or more. Manufacturers create refined oils by using intensive mechanical and chemical processes. These methods remove the natural nutrients from the seeds. The refined oils are chemical products and are not health foods. Oils are excessive fats that your body doesn't need. The body uses fat primarily for energy storage when there is no food or energy source available. Cholesterol is part of many critical cellular functions. The body produces all the cholesterol and fats it needs, so both are part of a healthy body. Plants already contain enough essential fatty acids. Too much dietary fats make people overweight and create a lot of health problems. Side effects include heart disease, cancer and diabetes. Most popular oils like canola, olive or flaxseed oil have low burning points. So when you cook with these oils, you are damaging the oils and create free radicals. Free radicals destroy your health and weaken your body. Oxidation is a natural process that nature uses to break down food. So the air reacts with compounds in vegetables or fruits and decomposes them. So whole foods have fiber that protects the vegetables or fruits from too much oxidation. So when you separate the liquids from plants, you expose the nutrients to oxygen. Vegetable oils contain polyunsaturated fats. These fats oxidize easily through heat and light. Prolonged exposure to air deteriorates the vital enzymes and nutrients in juices and oils. The extraction of oils remove all the other ingredients of the whole food. Oils have no longer the proteins, carbohydrates, vitamins or minerals from the whole food. When we remove these nutrients, the oils are no longer food. Oils supply concentrated calories but nothing else from the plants. They are the most calorie dense substance you can eat. Oils clog arteries which lead to heart disease and the risk of cancer. Trans fats are another risk factor in vegetable oils. So you can find it in refined oils but mostly in margarine. Vegetable oils are the primary base of margarine. Margarine may contain soybean oil, canola oil, sunflower oil or other vegetable oils. Trans fats are human made fatty acids formed during the process of hydrogenation. So hydrogenation turns liquid vegetable oils into solid fats. It makes margarine solid at higher temperatures. Animal fat and hydrogenated oils are the biggest sources of trans fats. Trans fats increase one's risk of heart disease, sudden death and diabetes. So there's no safe levels of trans fats. The body cannot process these formed particles. That is the reason why man-made trans fats are so damaging to the body. The safest way to avoid trans fats is to eat a vegan diet without any added oils. Vegetable oils in french fries elevate the cancer risk. Acrylamide in fries can lead to endometrial, ovarian and lung cancer. Many of us have heard that you need omega-3 from fish oils. But fish oil is also a processed food and is unhealthy. While it contains omega-3, 
it also includes other unhealthy fats. One such fat is saturated fat. Saturated fat damages the arteries and causes heart disease and stroke. Fish get their omega-3 from plants. 1 to 2 tablespoons of ground flax seeds are enough to meet your daily need of omega-3. But what about extra virgin olive or coconut oil? Aren't they supposed to be healthy? Extra virgin olive and coconut oil use mechanical processes to produce oils. So they seem to be healthier. But they are junk food as much as white sugar is. So why does everyone say that sugar is harmful? White sugar is toxic because it contains empty calories. Producers take sugar canes or sugar beets into a long chemical process. So the end product is a bleach chemical junk food. So there is no essential amino acids, fats, vitamins, minerals or fiber. It does supply some carbohydrates, but nothing else. So if a food low in nutrients is unhealthy, then olive and coconut oil must be harmful too. Cold pressed olive and coconut oil contain as little or fewer nutrients as white sugar. Coconut and olive oil provide no protein, carbohydrates, vitamins, minerals or fiber. So in what way are they healthier than white sugar? Olive oil and coconut oil might be full of nutrients the minute you make them. But you won't consume the fats within days after the manufacturing process. Supermarkets can keep them for months or years before anybody buys them. Olive oil still contains some unhealthy saturated fat. Saturated fat consumed in excess contributes to a host of health problems. The higher in fat your diet is, the less effective your insulin becomes. Eating olive oil is like going from worse to bad. It's a calorie-dense liquid with little nutritional value. One cup of olive oil contains 1900 calories. A few splashes of olive oil here and there can quickly add up to hundreds of extra calories that you don't need. But what about people on the Mediterranean diet? They had less heart disease than people on the standard American diet, even if they used olive oil. But you also have to remember that they also ate more vegetables than the side diet. And they consumed more bread, fruit and ate less meat, butter and cream. So improvements were because of eating more plants and fewer animal products. Their benefits may be in spite of rather than because of the oil. Many praise coconut oil as a health food. Like all oils, coconut oil is pure fat. Many people use it for cooking and in baking. The oil has a high smoke point. Non-food uses for coconut oil include soaps, cosmetics, hair gels and skin moisturizers. Coconut oil contains over 90% saturated fat and is not much better than butter. It has the same detrimental effect on our cholesterol as eating butter. Whole plant foods like whole grains, greens, nuts and seeds contain adequate fat. If you eat a variety of natural foods, you will not be deficient in fat. We don't need to take fish oil, olive oil or any other oil when we eat healthy foods. Fats should come from whole foods such as vegetables, not oils. Plants contain fiber, vitamins, minerals and protein that is missing from oils. If you like olive oil, eat olives. Instead of using flaxseed oil, buy flaxseeds. Replace soy oils with soy and so forth. You don't need to eat vegetable oils or animal products to get enough fat. Almost everything we eat has fat in it. It's difficult to be deficient in fats and many people get far too much. You can get all the fats you need from whole plants. Much like you get all the protein you need from eating plants, you will get plenty of fat. Adding vegetable oils can prevent you from succeeding on a vegan diet. The best diet to eat is a whole food, high carb, low fat diet. Avoid all animal products, including eggs and dairy. And remember that the fat you eat is the fat you wear. It doesn't matter if the fat comes from oils, animal products or high fat foods. Cooking without oils is not hard. Here are 6 quick tips on how to prepare food without using fats. 
One way to fry without oil is to replace it with water. Use enough liquid so that the food doesn't stick. Another way to succeed is to buy a good non-stick pan. Use one with a non-toxic ceramic coating or something similar. A second way to cook without oil is to buy waterless cookware. This cooker cooks the vegetables in their own liquid. In this way, you don't need to add much water. The benefit of this method is that you don't have to pour the nutrients down the drain. You can also steam your vegetables instead of frying. A fourth way to cook without oil is to use a pressure cooker. Another method to prepare food is to bake your food on a parchment paper. You can also spray the food with water to protect it from burning. If your baking needs oils, replace it with the following things. Applesauce, vinegar, mashed bananas, mashed potatoes, mashed pumpkin or tomato sauce. An air fryer allows you to prepare food using hot air. With this appliance you can fry, roast, bake or grill all kinds of food. So Philips is a good brand. Today you learn why vegetable oils are bad for your health. Vegetable oils are a processed food that comes from whole foods. Too much dietary fat makes people overweight and creates a lot of health problems. Side effects include heart disease, cancer and diabetes. Oils don't contain any nutrients, are 100% fat and are high in calories. And then I explain 6 ways you can cook without oil. So after watching this video, you should now know that if you avoid all vegetable oils or fats from dairy products, you will reduce your risk of cancer and many other diseases. Download this document to learn how to eat a low-fat diet and cook without oils. The link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, then press the like button and subscribe to the channel. Share this video on social media to all your friends and families. Please visit our blog at cancerwisdom.net to learn non-toxic ways to treat cancer. You can also download more free documents in our free resource library and learn other ways to prevent cancer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.